where did the voice sounds come from? So there's this weird story where I I met Kanye West uh, at some point. I didn't really meet him. I mean, he called me and he bought me a plane ticket. And, and this was like, I have no idea what he wants. Like, it's Kanye West. So I'm, I'm, I, this is a couple of years ago. Uh, and it's like, okay, well... Sure. I, I thought it was a joke. I mean, until I got to LA, I thought somebody's playing a trick. Uh, and when I talked to him on the phone, I said, okay, this guy sounds like Kanye West, but you never know. I mean, it's, it's, it's so weird. And and it's not like I'm producing whatever, you know, the new singer or something. It's just, I'm doing these weird projects and, and stuff. So, but I mean, he's, he's looking for weird stuff too. So I guess but uh, anyhow, at some point I got to LA and uh, I, I went to his place where he works and everything in Calabasas and, and stuff. And then um, I was trying to understand what he wanted, but because this guy, he's always, you know, talking about a million things at the same time. I mean, he was showing me this new Nike shoe and speaking about music and how this Nike shoe relates to music. Uh, and it was like a new prototype. And then there's some kids that come from another room with uh, some other prototype. And then we walk to another room and we start looking at all his clothes, the new stuff that he's coming with. And, and still, you know, all this time, I have no idea what's happening. I, I don't know why I'm there, why he's showing me all this stuff. But anyhow, I, I did have my laptop and I, I started to work on some stuff. And my minding is, since it's Kanye West, I was at the hotel uh, and I, I was trying to find something that is really striking because if he takes me there, uh, I mean, I'm not just going to do some R&B beat or whatever, you know, I, I have to come up with something. And this is what happened. And not, not this tune in particular, but I had those voices and I tried to find a way to play melodies that is a really striking thing. And this happened by accident. And I was like, at that point, I knew that this was like gold. And I, wa I was, okay, this I'm going to show to Kanye. So anyhow, I was there for like a week and, and I had to leave and there was problems. And uh, Kanye started firing people and his lawyers and everything was too long and I had to leave. And so whatever, uh, it was a mess. So just to say this, has, it, it's like, I'm going to say it's maybe a month before he came out of the closet as a Trump supporter. So I didn't know about that. I, I would probably not have the gun there <laughs> if I knew. But so it was. There was a, a lots of changing uh, happening in his life and, and everything. So uh, I just I, I just left at some point, and I, I was like, okay, he'll he'll come me back whenever he needs something. Uh, I don't know. So I had those voices. Uh, the system, uh, meaning, uh, you know, there's a girl doing and stuff and then I, I was playing with it with samples and stuff so I could do any harmonizing or whatever at that point it doesn't really matter what exactly the melody is it's just that that system and then yeah so this project came up and I was man those tribal voices that's exactly what we need for this so I just went back to my system there and started finding the right melody and stuff and that's it. It became that. So that that particular harmony, the last one I, I show you just now, that's the one I did for Kanye, which he never heard. He never heard it? I, he never heard it uh, so because we never, we, we never got to somewhere with that. So I don't know what was happening over there. So my, I, lately, I've been like thinking about that. And it's like, I hope this guy listened to the White Lotus and he's like everybody else. Okay, who's that guy? He's <laughs> the same guy who made it for you a couple of years ago. 